Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to go to a car boot sale and hopefully find some stuff to pick up and fill up a couple of IKEA bags, and then we can. Oh, oh, shut up, mate! Shut up. I'm going to go to the car boot one. sale. Ignore this waffler, and we'll see you when we get there. Shut up. Let's go. Talking to the cabbage. It's a short store. How much is the jacket? Uh, 40. 40. Is it by? It's a nice looking one. Oh, that might be a thinker. I want to get straight to my man with the clothes. Here he is. Hi, oh, mate. How's it going? How's it going, my man? You all right? What you got for me today? Always. Well, they're more so I've, I've actually got these ones at home. Are they medium or large? Oh, oh fuck's sake. I've got the exact ones. Okay, right, see so what we can do here today, guys. You've normally got some good bits here for me. This geezer is always worth a good rummage around. They're nice, mate, they are. How much are they? Two quid. For a pair of diesels. Mm. What about the jacket? The jacket's fiver. Is it, is it still 50p each down there? Yeah, it's still 50p. Well, I've got three, yeah. I've got three pieces in there. Let's have a look at this one. Right out for you. Get you bopping around on Sunday morning there. <laughs> so 8.50. Uh, let me just check the um, arm on that because I always split. I did have a quick look around it, but so I didn't do too much. I always get scared to leave your store because you start putting stuff up when I leave. It won't be as fast paced though as last time. That was fucking, that was crazy. Yeah, isn't it? That was mental. Unless you get a proper... Oh, yeah. oh, so much. So much. <laughs> What's happening, big boy? Oh, cloves to rummage through. <laughs> I know whose car it is, don't worry. How much is that one? Pounds. I'll take that, thank you. I owe you a pound, I'm not, I won't go anywhere. And what about this? Four for that one. Yeah, you know you want it. Two. I think I do. Oh, sorry. Okay, I owe you five. I owe you five, I've took the egg. What's this? How I mean, how much is this? <laughs> I'm looking at about 30 pounds for that. 30? Yeah. What? So, what? No, I'm sure it's worth it. No, I Nice the box, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Okay, Good no, condition no, inside as well. That is ridiculous. I think it's one of the later ones, isn't it? Yeah, so that's, that's the thing that's putting me off. Okay, I owe you a fiver. <laughs> Pay you before I get in trouble. That's for the egg and the... Uh, yeah. What else? I don't know what it was. What did I get? It's a little... Oh, yeah, the kit. <laughs> yeah, oh, out of it, sir. Sorry, Come mate. on. Actually, no. Actually, to be fair, it's all for sale. I'm not trying to pay. <laughs> <laughs> How funny is that? When people normally buy stuff and put it in their bag, they've normally got some okay bits, otherwise they wouldn't have bought it. So yeah. the bag's always yeah, it always draws your attention, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. I've been in I've been in many. How much are this sh lady shoes? Uh, a fiver. Yeah. How much are the jackets? Fifteen. Fifteen, yeah? Four hundred pounds. Four hundred pounds. Sorry mate. What about a tenner? Yeah, I'll do a tenner on it. Yeah. Thank you, mate. I'll pay you tomorrow. Beam, beam, beam. I've only got 20s today. Mr. Mr. Rich Man today. Yeah. What I see is what, what I've got is what you, what you see is what I've got. That's it. For you. Beautiful stuff. Pink one for you, purple, I whatever colour it is. What a tenner? Has he got Charles' head on it? I got one. Yeah, I've got Charlie's head on it. Yeah, 20. I appreciate it. Glad I could buy something. Thank you, mate. You know where I am. Oh, of course, yeah, I'm going to have a wander around and pop back again, I think. Yeah. How you doing, mate? You alright? Yeah, good to see you again, mate. Yeah, you yeah. too, mate. You found much? No, I haven't just got it, but. You always f***ing mad as me when you're doing them things. It makes me laugh, man. I'm f***ing then front of the telly like, look at this guy, I'm going to talk to Mr. Reed's telly. Appreciate it, man. Well, now you can watch yourself on the telly and she can say to you, look at this f***ing here. <laughs> oh, 
a lovely set. How much are the shoes in that in here? Uh, two pounds. Two quid. Two squid. Yeah. I'll take this pair, please. There you go. Thank you so okay. much. I appreciate it. How much is the clothes, mate? Is it your stall? It's me. Hey, oh, hello, mate. You're right. You Thought I recognised you. Right. Where's Fredster? Fred. We haven't. Um, Freddy. Uh, he does it on his own, own passes, test and everything now. Oh. Thank you, anyway. Thank you. Oh, you're there. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, yes, thank you. <laughs> How much is this stuff, mate? I'm not sure. <laughs> That's not, that doesn't help me. No, I don't. We're, we're, we're both stuck then. Yeah. Uh, make a good offer. Oh, I really don't know. I'll risk it for a biscuit. That's how we like to do things. I owe you a fiver. Okay. Is that a window smasher? There's <laughs> a torch. Yeah, I think it's a torch. I think that piece yeah, there, put on the window. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Can we test it out? Is that all right to make sure it works? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, mate. How's it going? Keeping well? Yeah, you find lots of good. these big Try bags. Try that's for the way. She likes that brand. Yeah, decent, mate. Yeah. Um, I'm not, I'm, I haven't really got too much, to be honest. No. no, just chilling, just going on nice and easy, taking it slow. I'm trying not to buy stuff. Why? Slimming what you got. Thank you, man. I appreciate Cheers. that. Thank you. Right. Cheers, mate. What about the game? Uh, six quid. Six. It's got to be worth that. They're old now. How many more have you got? That's the last one I've got. Oh, two quid. I don't know why, but I want it. <laughs> oh, you're two quid. Get a little nose around it. Thank you. I don't know why I've just bought that, but I did. Afternoon or morning, whatever time it is. How much is the top, mate? Uh, we'll have that. What's this one here? Is that a t-shirt as well? I like it. I like funky that's, patterns, can you tell? That's brand new. How, mu how much is that? Worn. It's ex extra large. That's two quid. Oh, you're a fiver. I like funky stuff, you see. And what about that? Quid. Oh, are you six quid then? 56. Have some change, because they're going to hammer you for it today, I'm sure. Thank you, sir. Have you got any more clothing coming out, or is that it? No, it's only children's stuff. Just though. children's stuff. Okay. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you, mate. Good morning, or afternoon. No, morning. I don't even know what time it is today, sorry. How much are your shoes? Nine, two pounds, nine and a half, two pounds. Oh, I don't want to risk it, but I really appreciate it though. Sorry to have taken your time. What else have you got over here? Good morning. Morning. Sorry to come here today, did you? Give, yeah. give this Saturday one a bash. You usually come in. Oh, do you? Like, yeah. Oh. Just move that. How much are the headphones? Uh, two pounds for those ones. Two quid. Okay, I owe you two pounds. I'm going to have a look over here. I'm not going to go anywhere. I promise. That's alright. Just going to go all over there. What about your clothing? Uh, pretty much varies. You're looking at 50p an item, unless they're decent coats, and then, yeah, we'll go from there. I shall dive in then. Who am I paying for that uh, headphones? We'll in the same place. Thank you. We're paid up before you chase me off. That's all right. A pound. How much is this one? <laughs> that was a, no, such, such, like such a bad joke no, and a good thanks. answer. Thank you. Okay. Oh look, here's, here's, the, here's the troublemakers. Trouble, trouble. How's it going, Zoe? Always get something good. Always. Just never know. I never know what it is until I get home. I'll come and see you in a bit. Bizzle. See you no, I'm going to put your face straight on there. I'm going to zoom right in on you. What happened to your car earlier? Did you touch it? You know, like, oh, <laughs> he come to me and he's like, Someone come with me. Boy, <laughs> boy, 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 boy. Everyone was looking at me going like that. <laughs> I went, it's all right, I know them, I hope it's them. Yeah, yeah, I don't know you. Mother. I'm gonna go and empty my sack in my car. <laughs> How much is the monkey chap? 50p. Oh, I've got to buy him for that. I'll owe him. Let me find you some money. What can I buy today? You've always got some up. Oh, yeah. It's a nice little writing desk, isn't it? A writing box. Oh, it um, needs a bit of TLC. tender loving care, but apart from that... I don't need it, all right? I don't need it. 
do I, times, do I want it? Right. That you need. Yeah, but do I want it? Mm. That'll do, won't it? No, don't even f***ing think about it. You stay there. And there we have it, a decent car boot sale. Shut up. You would have seen some of the footage by now, but as always, my GoPro always dies after an hour and I don't change the battery because I think it's more fun for you guys to see some of the stuff that I don't pick up live on camera. No particular order, although I say that, I've got one slammer that I'm going to save until the end because it's a really nice find. Revel Easy Kit, squashed but still sealed. I hope that's a genuine seal. It is. Squashed and seal sealed. A pound should be an easy £10 back out of that. Couple of vintage t-shirts, both made in USA. This one, I don't know the brand, although I have seen this label before somewhere. I had it on a jacket. I don't know if anybody remembers it. But single stitch, I had that on a jacket before. I don't know what it is. I think, I don't know. It'd be nice if it's Michael Jackson, wouldn't it? It's not though. On the My Shirt, made in USA, single stitch. That was one pound. This was two pound. I haven't seen the design yet. I've seen some of it. It's a badger. We'll look at it together. We'll find out together. But it's on the old screen stars label the old one size xl and it is let's find out together hopefully it's really pretty but let's do it this way badgers what's it say there capri sun and something watch probably like badger watch or something that's decent dead stock so we have to check to see if it's got dry rot or not smells good find a very inconspicuous piece i'll probably do the sleeve because worst case scenario we're good. We are very good. Do a couple of areas. Nice. If that had dry rot, that would have just popped apart, dust everywhere. We'd have been sad. But that is a slamming t-shirt. Nice big size. Great design on a wicked little label. Single stitched. Beautiful. Unfortunately for the eBay world and the vintage world and whatever else, this might never make it there. Love it. Two pound paid. I haven't picked up any hats recently, so I thought I'd get some. No idea on brand. Just thought it was a cool design. A little dude with a sheet over his head pretending to be a ghost. He's fell off. I don't know. I'll look into that. I'm sure I'll be able to find something more about that. Little polo cap for me. Pound. It's obviously fake. It's just stuck on there with some sort of like screen print. But I like the colour of the hat. Texas Instruments. Famous for their calculators. Believe it or not, this should be about 20 quid hat. 50 pence each these hats cost. Apart from that Ralphie one. Ralphie one. That was pound. Kahula. It's a beer. Beer brand. Vintage cap. Nice trucker with the mesh on the inside. No idea who this is, but it was vintage and branded, so I bought it. Ackerman Trenchless Equipment. I'll look into them. And Northwest Customs. I don't think this one's that old, to be fair. Fucking okay, hell, it's Primark. Livid. Livid. Primark. I just saw the brand. I saw the design. I thought, that's quite cool. I'm buying loads anyway. I might as well add that to it. Fucking livid. I don't know why I bought it. It was £2. Sunny Jim plush. It just looked old and obviously it's advertising. So I thought I'll have it. It's Sunny Jim toasted wheat flakes. A little bit of a repair down there. Paid £2. They are selling for around about 30 quid. In this condition, I'm going to list it for 12 and try and get a shot of it ASAP. And I think his name's AA from Monkey Ball. Super Monkey Ball. Sega. He is from the Sega Prize. What do you call it? The Sega Prize Europe. Quite sought after to be fair. I've seen this one and is it he he? God, I don't know their names. The pair have sold for $60. So hopefully about 20 quid out of that one. That'd be nice. That was 50p. Some Keith Herring shoes. Now, annoyingly, Keith Herring did a collaboration with Primark. So I'm actually going to check to see if these are Primark or not. I don't think so. There's no Primark brand in them. Just Keith Herring. So we should be all right there. £2 paid on these. 10, 12 quid back. Nothing major. But it all brings the spend of the day down, doesn't it? And they'll sell quick as well. I think I've lost money on this one. Got a little blazer jacket by Hugo Boss. Now, the thing is, it's Hugo Boss. And it's also... I've never heard of this link up before. Obviously, the people who make the fabric and stuff. Cloth produced by Torello Vieira. I thought, hmm, I'll be decent. Hugo Boss, Torello Vieira. Paid. He wanted 15 quid each. I was looking and he said, uh, £12 for that one if you want it. I said, oh, about 10. And he took it. Might be lucky to get a tenner back. It's quite snazzy though, isn't it? I think this is a Taiwanese football club. I think. I'm not 100% too sure. Wang Thong United. I might have said that completely wrong. 50 pence paid on that. Hunter jacket, size XS. Really, really good condition. Just needs, what's well, creased, that's all it is. A really smart condition. Size extra small, paid £5 for that. Should be able to get an easy 20 quid out of that. Let's take this off. Some Adidas joggers, size 10 ladies. 
50 pence. Again, another five, six quid on Vinted. Some champion cotton joggers. Pick these up because I'd, I'd actually wear them myself. They're quite smart. 50 pence they are. Just nice, relaxing. Like, I always wear a lot of plastic, a lot of polyester trousers. Just nice to wear a bit of cotton every now and then. It's good for the nuts. Some more Adidas trousers. These are 12 to 14 year olds. We're going to see if George wants them. And some diesel industries that weren't £40 a pair. These were £2. These are the Bethley ankles. So I think the women's have got a really nice sort of frayed design on the outside there. Almost like a reversed, stitched. Yeah, quite smart. I like them. They are a size 32, 28. So 32, no, 32, 32. But they are ankle jeans. £2 paid on them. Again, probably 20 quid. Some Sony headphones, yeah, the DRS4s. They were quite commonly used in like studio work and stuff like that back in the day, or home studios, whatever you had as well. Paid two pound on those. Should be able to get 15, 20 back. And from the great year of 2006 is this Mega Bloks Dragons with CD-ROM and cards and stuff in the back. Toy. I, I paid a fiver. I just took a punt. I wasn't sure what I was buying. I just bought it because I bought that along with... What else did I buy from them? Bought something for a pound. What? I don't know. There was a reason why I bought that. Oh, it was that Revel kit for a pound. Dickhead. No idea on the value, but it's worth more than five pounds, isn't it? Has to be. And I took a chance on this. I've bought this before, but when I had it, it had barely any of the medallions and stuff in it. It's the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX kit. You know where you buy, I think you buy it monthly from the magazines and you add to it and stuff. But it's got loads of them in there. In fact, if anything, I think it's full and more underneath the layer. There's loads of Yu-Gi-Oh! cards underneath there as well, look. I'll have a look at those. But I paid a fiver. <laughs> I paid five pounds. These can be hit or missed. They are from 2004. They can be hit or missed, depending on how many, how much stuff you've got in there. The fact it was fully loaded is why I paid a fiver. So I'm hoping to get, you know, some okay money out of it. And last but not least, from where I got the Badger t-shirt and the other vintage one with the MJ, whatever it is, I'm not too sure. I only bought those two because I was drawn in by something else. 1992 Rangers shirt and the Adidas equipment, it is absolutely immaculate. But not only that, it's a freaking long sleeve as well. And it's an XL, I'm sure it was an XL, 44, 46. So yeah, a really big one. What an absolute beauty. Thing, thing of beauty. I can't find any long sleeves listed or sold just yet. I haven't gone into Terrapeak to be fair, but I will do that. Hopefully by the time this video comes out, if I have, there's some stuff there. If not, I'll put a picture up of John Luke as a banana again. But it is immaculate. A couple of very small little pulls across the bottom. It's just in such good condition. I saw that folded up, laying down from about 40 yards away. So I walked over there quite fast, picked it up. How much is that, mate? I don't know, three pound. Okay, I'll buy it. And then I saw the rest of his stuff. Listed, I've seen the short sleeve so far for £175 for the short sleeve. This is the long sleeve version. Long sleeves create longer dollars oh shit just a really really nice find it was one of those serendipitous moments where if i had if i had have gone earlier i wouldn't have seen it if i hadn't have gone and got stuck at a store that i was at before whinging about i would never have seen this because i think you'd only just put it out really really smart very very happy with that that has got to be the find of the day maybe it's a thumbnail yeah that's a thumbnail Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. We're going to draw the winner of the DS on the next episode. So make sure you stay tuned for that one. Take care and I'll see you in a bit. Bye.